Here we had another mass shooting, and this time it was at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California, where a woman entered YouTube HQ and proceeded to shoot it up. Now, this mass shooting started at around 1.30 and lasted till about 2.30 when the police um, ended this the um, mass shooting by, um, it was either, I think, either the perpetrator uh, killed herself or the police um, killed the um, perpetrator of these attacks. Either way, it doesn't really matter, or I, what, or I really don't care because a person who commits a mass shooting doesn't deserve to breathe another second on this earth. And, uh, you know, my thoughts are with the people who, or the three victims who were, um, you know, shot. And as of me making this video, uh, they are still alive. It's just their conditions vary everything from critical to non-life-threatening. And I hope they recover. But I will say that, um, you know, when it comes to being shot, I know people who have been shot before, and it is one of the most excruciating pains um, if you would have that happen to you that you'll ever go go through in your in your life. Um, and it's and a lot of times too, the, the damage is that even if you survive uh, being shot, the damages to your body can affect you for the rest of your life. I mean, you can you know potentially be crippled, lose a limb. Um, you know, people have been shot in the face and have, um, you know, lost their vision. And, you know, some people might have to, you know, crap in a bag. And it's just not something that I would want anyone to have to go through. And um, I really do hope those people recover. But when it, but my thoughts um, when it comes to, you know, these um, mass shootings is that it's really crazy. And it's gotten to a point where it's become so common that, it's not even really that shocking. Like when I heard that YouTube headquarters was shot up, it, it really didn't even, like it, it didn't shock me at all. It was just the fact that it happened at the headquarters of YouTube, a website that I probably visit more than any other website. And it's such a well-known company. And that's probably why it's in the spotlight for the moment. And, you know, it's just, these, these things have just become so kind it, and it's sad that, you know, they just keep happening. And, um, I personally believe that there's really nothing we can do about it because we have so many like guns in this country and there's like a lot of nut jobs out here that you really can't, even if you would introduce, uh, you know, legislation or whatever, you, you really can't regulate like something that's already, you know, just become so widespread when it comes to like the amount of guns we have. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for owning guns. Like I, I own quite a few, 17 to be, to just, just to be frank with you guys. Um, a lot of them I did inherit, actually most of them I inherited, but I do have my concealed uh, carry permit. I, you know, I, like I have a Glock 17 that, you know, I keep, I keep with me, um, Pretty much all the time, but uh, hopefully I would never have to use it um, in defense of myself. But um, it's just, I mean, but once again, it's like just that's just the world we live in. And like, you know, I see a lot of these, uh, I see a lot of young people protesting, saying they want something done. But I mean, you can't really do nothing because how do you prepare for someone who one moment is fine and then the next moment they're fucking nuts and they want to blow someone's head off. Like, how do you prepare for that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, when you have like, uh, for instance, like you, when you have game bangers on the street and they're shooting at each other, like there's a reason for them doing that. It's because they want to make more money by holding on to drug territory and they'll defend that. And then they shoot each other over it. And yeah, it's sad, but at least there's a reason behind it. These people who are doing these mass shootings, there's there's like they're just nuts. Like they're crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know plenty of game bangers and that like it's like they're not crazy. They they're just they, they they just know the situation at hand and they do what they do. But these people who are committing these mass shootings, there's like no just it's just fucking crazy. Like they just oh yeah, hey, um, I'm gonna go take the kids to soccer practice and then the next morning, you know what? 
fuck this place. I'm gonna go shoot it up. Why? I don't understand. Like, what? What? Why are you gonna go shoot someone that's never done nothing to you? I mean, I can understand if someone like raped one of your sisters or your or, your, or, or your, like your mom or something like that. You might go smoke their ass, but it's like you're just gonna go sh enter a building and shoot at people that you that I'm pretty certain you don't even know. Like those people have families, they have you know um, loved ones, and you want to you know make it so their loved ones will never see them again. Like that's some real sick, crazy ass stuff, man. And I I just I just can't wrap my mind around it. And um, you know, in closing, it's just it's it's really like it's just it's it's messed up that it's become so common. And just it happens so often that it's not even like shocking for me anymore. It's just a, another mass shooting, and I I honestly think maybe the only way you can probably sort of curve like these nut jobs getting um, access to guns is maybe having it where you have some sort of mental health check when someone buys a gun. Um, you know, like you have to sort of relax the HIPAA laws, maybe. But I mean, you can buy a gun off the street, and ain't no one gonna know except, you know, the two people who are you know having the transaction between each other. So I mean, once again, like, how do you like regulate something? Because I mean, like you, I mean, right now, I mean, I personally wouldn't, but you know, if 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 I, I know people who sell guns on the street, like. And if you have money, they will give you a gun. Like, it's that simple. And it's just, it's just how it's, it is. It's how it is. And I don't know. But that's all I got to say. Uh, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I just moved back to Akron. I got a job out here. And, um, yeah, so stay tuned. Peace.